I have loved Arundel ever since being taken there as a child by my parents. I still pay frequent visits, usually by train, but sometimes I alight at Amberley, the previous stop a couple of miles upriver, and take a bracing walk over the South Downs and into town. The parish church is unusual. On one side rises the castle, seat of the Duke of Norfolk, whose faith is Roman Catholic, but the chancel, the Fitz Allen Chapel, facing the castle and within its grounds is partitioned by a glass screen from the nave for Church of England parishioners. It is opened rarely. An interdenominational service took place in 1977, but it remains locked to this day. The chapel can be viewed through the glass screen without entering the castle by going behind the altar. The castle dominates the town, stunningly situated on a south-facing slope of the downs, the houses rising in tiers and crowned by a cathedral. Below is the Arum, once a port, but take the towpath away from the town to enjoy one of the best distant views of the castle, with the river leading the eye into the picture. Most of the castle is Victorian, the oldest part being the 12th century keep, which replaced a wooden structure dating from 1067, a year after the Norman conquest. The state rooms are open to the public, and photography, yes, it's permitted, but first visit the garden. They feature both formal and water gardens, and equally worthy of your photographic inspiration. Inside, the photographic challenges are very different, but forget tripods. Everything must be handheld. Keep it simple. I use the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera and the 12 to 100 Pro lens. Nothing else. Both items have image stabilizers, and by keeping the ISO at 200, to maintain quality, I was able to handhold at shutter speeds of a quarter and half a second, thought impossible a few years ago. Light sources are mixed, but by saving to RAW, I was able to correct any color bias in Adobe Lightroom. As for other people, well, that requires patience. When including the view through a window, I am faced with excessive dynamic range, impossible to balance in a camera. This was resolved by spot metering near the window and then correcting overexposed highlights and underexposed shadows in post-production. This technique requires practice and only works through experience. I spent the whole day with friends at the castle, and currently you must book in advance. Afterwards, and following tea and toasted tea cakes in town, I had the opportunity to walk by the river again, back to the station before getting the train home. Don't worry, I have missed that one. There is another one soon. <laughs>